Hello there. It's week two. I'm trying to do the blueprint protocol for 90 days with my friend Jesse and deliver my speed of aging results to Brian Johnson. We have 83 days left and I have a plan to make a big update this week. I need to brush my teeth. My game plan is to add supplements because last week was insane. Whoop said my HRV went up from 97 to 102. Supplements could give us that boost to improve our health metrics even more. I was gonna say I wouldn't start Blueprint all at once because whoo, it's a lot. But this is a 90 day challenge, so we're diving in. So adding supplements is the move. <sighs> but first, let's work out. Hello. Hey, let's go. Ready to work out? Ready, ready, I'm in. Let's do it. This is like seven, eight hundred dollars worth of supplements. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We're about to get it. Here's our supplement plan. We'll take the non-prescription list of supplements in three rounds. This week, we'll take the first half of the morning supplements. Next week, we'll add the second half. The week after that, we'll add the evening supplements. We're gonna organize and then put them into tins. Let's do it. We're starting off with basic vitamins and basic supplements. So nothing too crazy, nothing too controversial. So like ashwagandha and vitamin C, those are gonna be the first 16 pills. Now are the tins. This B12 is just once a week. What do you think about supplements? <sighs> this is gonna be a pretty new experience for me. I'm really looking forward to the part where it's gonna help me get in a mountain man's beard. <laughs> Honestly, I have no feeling except for, will any of this make me nauseous? I've taken my pills and my green giant this morning. I realized like I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. Nothing crazy. I'm not like, whoa, I need to go to the bathroom. It's like a little bit uncomfortable. Like, ooh, I can work through it, but it's there. Mmm. Mmm. It's almond, almond beet salad. So good. We can't do an episode on supplements without talking the risks should you be taking all these. Great question. Supplements are not the basis of great health. The basis of great health is the three pillars, diet, sleep, and exercise. Supplements are like icing on the cake. It is probably safer to go without these supplements. Focus on the core essentials of a good life and great health and kind of take it from there. Do your research, talk to your doctor, really think this through. And if you're taking other medication, make sure that none of these supplements are gonna negatively interact with the medicines you're already taking.
Tonight I'm at the hospital to support my loved one's surgery. I'm gonna do the best that I can to get a good night's sleep. Wish me luck. <laughs> I got a really bad sleep score, really bad. I'm just hoping that it doesn't affect my week too much, but we'll see. Oh, hey, just another day. There we go. I'm tired, but we're getting through it. It's been a good while with the supplements. To be honest, I'm not feeling that different and I felt a little nauseous that first day but that's gone away what about you mild case of the vapors mild oh yeah I did have that too actually the first yeah. day I think it was from the garlic there's just so much hype around the supplements I thought it was gonna be like like explosive and that has not happened yet we'll see what happens after a couple weeks 8 13 and we're working out with our friends. You know, we told you. Yes, work out with your friends when you can. It's a thousand times better. <laughs> While we're taking care of our bodies, it's important to also take care of Mama Earth. So for each new subscriber, we're donating to the Arbor Day Foundation. 100 subscribers equals one new tree planted. Please subscribe and help us plant some trees. We started this week with our first round of supplements. We kept up with our workouts and we ate all of our meals and we navigated cravings, irritability, and major fatigue. This week, my HRV heart rate variability went down from 102 to 87. That's not great. It was mainly triggered by getting one night of really poor sleep and the snowball effects thereafter. My total day stress went up from one hour in the high stress zone to four hours. This is showing the downstream <laughs> effects of not getting great sleep. I'm gonna keep showing up for my friends and family in times of need, but I can come up with a better game plan to figure out how to get great sleep overall. I might figure out with my work how to take the next day off, or as soon as I wake up, do an NSDR session basically immediately to work off that sleep debt as quickly as possible. And then we've got our main man, Jesse, who is getting out of his car more easily than ever before. Since sleep has been the greatest struggle for us, next week we're gonna focus on how to get the best sleep ever. And I have a fun idea on how to get us back on track. One of our main goals with this series is to celebrate small but mighty wins together as a community. I'm calling these atomic wins, starting with Angel in Puerto Rico. He got himself up and moving this week by shooting some hoops. Yes, Angel, look at those hops. Then we've got Ellen. Ellen is a wine lover, but this week she made space for 40 ounces of water every day. Yes, Ellen, yes. We have 76 more days to improve our speed of aging before hand delivering our results to Brian Johnson in LA. And I have a game plan. I'll see you next week.